eh, sin más, vamos ahora a hablar con uh, Joe Hendricks, presidente de América para la Ford Motor Company sobre el Ford Mustang 2015. Well, uh, a big a big day for Ford all over the world, right? With the new uh, Ford Mustang. It's an exciting day, you know. It's you don't get many chances like this in your lifetime to introduce an all new Mustang, and of course, with the 50th anniversary coming up next year, this is really a great day for Ford. Yeah, and uh, even though the car, from what we've seen uh, and, and read over the internet and all the postings and all that. Uh, even the car is completely different, all new, it, it remains a true Mustang, right? It does. You know, our designers made sure that we stayed true to the Mustang DNA. Matter of fact, in the studios, when we were working on the designs, they actually had late 60s Mustangs in there for inspiration. But it's an all new vehicle from the ground up, from the tires all the way up to the roof. It's lower, it's sleeker, it's wider. Um, it's much more modern, but it's still true to what Mustang stands for and what the Mustang DNA is. Yeah, and um, like me, uh, other cars that have been coming up that compete in this segment, uh, the true American uh, car, uh, it has to come up to with new technology, and that that's been a challenge because uh, I mean, seeing that that technology is changing so fast. So, what's new in in that sense for the new Mustang? Well, there's lots of new technology in this vehicle. Of course, we have independent rear suspension now, which is the first time for for all the volume models uh, for Mustangs, that's exciting. We have a, a four-cylinder EcoBoost engine, so, you know, gasoline, turbo, direct injection engine uh, at a four-cylinder, which gives you great fuel economy, but, but fun to drive dynamics. We have all kinds of the safety technology that you're used to um, in other vehicles, like adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, uh, collision avoidance, these kinds of things. But we also spend a lot of time on the infotainment system, the shaker stereo system, In the interior, because we know how much a Mustang uh, drivers and owners love their stereos. So, all kinds of new technology, but certainly, as you said, the design is still true to the Mustang DNA. Yeah, and all these new uh, improvements in, in, in this new car um, are aimed not only to please the, the, the huge amount of fans that this car has in the United States, but globally. I mean, you are launching the car in New York, LA, Sydney, Shanghai, Barcelona, and Dearborn. This is uh, one of the, of the goals for this new car, like to really... Uh, make it uh, even more popular, if we can say, all around the world? Yeah, that's right, Javier. I mean, we, we've sold 9 million Mustangs in the 49 and a half years we've been selling them. and But we have 5 and a half million Facebook fans. The Mustang has more Facebook fans than any other car in the world. And I think, I think of those fans are outside the United States. Yeah, I think so more, more fans than Lady Gaga, actually. Well, we'll give it to them. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I'm more fans than Lady Gaga, which is pretty amazing, too, huh? It is amazing. And it just tells you that, you know, Mustang stands for so much more than just a car. It's an American icon. It's, it's American pop culture. It's, you know, it's been in over 3,000 movies and TV shows. It, it, it stands for something more than just the value-oriented sports car. It stands for American pop culture, this freedom, this openness, this expression. And we want to show that to the world. Yeah, and uh, so with this car, I mean, uh, the, the, like the three most uh, popular cars in this segment from from the U.S., the Corvette, uh, the Camaro, and now the Mustangs are like like kind of complete a new era for American cars, right? Well, it's true. I mean, the pony cars were started in the 1964 when the Mustang came out. Uh, you had the Corvette and the Thunderbird in the 50s, um, but the Mustang has been true to its DNA from the day from the day it started and. Uh, and we look forward to uh, competing in the marketplace with all those vehicles. Yeah, and speaking of competing, you got to have uh, different options, right? Coupe, convertible, uh, and uh, different kind of engines, of course. Yes, we've always got a convertible. We're very excited about that. The new Mustang that we're showing today is a fastback version, so it's much sleeker uh, in how in how the back works uh, from a design standpoint. We'll have that. We'll have the coupe. We'll have the convertible will have three different engine operations, the four-cylinder um, EcoBoost, the V6, and the five-liter V8, which has been historically a part of the Mustang family. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we are here at the end of 2013, and uh, the car goes on sale next year as a 2015, right? When is that, uh, that, uh, the, the date for sale and all that? Those details, please. Yes, it's going to be available for sale in the fall of 2014. We're very excited about that, and we'll have a lot more to say about that as we get closer to the time frame, but fall of 2014. 
Well, thank you, Joe. Uh, Joe Hendricks, uh, president of the Americas for Ford Motor Company, and congratulations again on that, a very exciting day. And uh, again, thank you for taking the time talking to us today in a very busy day. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.